Eamon here from ASUS Campus Live here at CES 2013. I'm here with uh, JJ from ASUS. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And we're taking a look at the new PP Series monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell me about what's new with uh, this year's monitor? So this is actually part of our PA series, so that's our Pro Art series, so professionally intended. So this is focused for people that are interested in content creation, or maybe you're a prosumer hobbyist, you're into, you know, you have a, a great quality digital SLR, high quality camcorder, you're doing uh, editing, or you're doing a lot of uh, color gradient work, stuff where accuracy in your image and in your picture is of uh, most importance to you. Definitely, uh, you know, this could actually even serve for a gaming oriented monitor, but content creation is definitely the focus. But um, some of the really cool parts that we have on this monitor in terms of new updates is uh, uh, increased horizontal resolution, so 1900 by 1200 as opposed to 1920 by 1080. So that's nice, so horizontally you're going to get more space to be able to work in, uh, which is a nice plus. In addition to that, we've got some cool things like we've integrated USB 3 hub. We have, of course, full tilt, pivot, rotate adjustment. We've got our uh, quick fit technologies where you can go ahead and uh, cycle through all kinds of uh, you know, different types of options for content creation. Uh, calibration is outstanding. We're pre-calibrating it at the factory for both Adobe uh, sRGB and RGB. So Adobe are, um, is at 99%. So outstanding in terms of the overall color fidelity. So pretty much for people that are taking things super seriously, this is gonna be the monitor of choice when it comes to uh, color quality and fidelity. That's awesome. I know for students like myself who are studying uh, multimedia, uh, this is going to be a great solution. I, I'm going to definitely try and pick one up myself. Um, how can you see using it for something like video editing? For video editing, it's still important because, of course, you know, you always want to strive for what you see is what you get, right, in terms of what you're going to be finishing. So in terms of that, that's going to give you a great amount of flexibility. And even the integrated USB 3 hub is great. You know, I mean, video takes up a lot of bandwidth, a lot of requirements. So being able to jack into, you know, to a modern generation system, be able to have more USB 3 connectivity activity is going to be great. You know, this is matched in terms of the resolution uh, for HD related content. So for anybody that's in that content creation space, it's a great monitor to work with. So we've looked at a monitor that's a little bit taller. Let's look at something that goes a little bit wider. Uh, tell us about the MX. Yeah, so the MX is actually a brand new series. So we recently launched the MX 27 inch, uh, which was a frameless bezel design, which you can see here just looks awesome. It gives it a really nice look and feel to the monitor. But here we're going to a much larger aspect ratio. So th this is actually 2560 by 1080. So instead of going uh, taller, you're going wider. And this is going to be really nice in two types of environments. One, if you're a big multimedia buff, you're taking advantage of films that have been filmed in a wider aspect ratio. You're going to get that full sense, that really big immersive of widescreen experience. Now on the other end, if you're somebody that's working like in linear workflows, so let's say like video editing, audio editing, or databases, um, Excel, doing a lot of maybe email and Outlook, you're going to have a huge area of workspace to be able to work with um, that's really nice to work with. So not only is the monitor going to look great because it's an IPS panel, great viewing angle, great color fidelity, a great image sharpness, um, but you've got a huge amount of workspace to work with. Oh, yeah, I know that when I'm editing audio in Pro Tools, uh, it's, it's nice to have that wide space to be able to uh, really zoom in on those waveforms. And uh, how else could a student really utilize this uh, widescreen monitor? Well, uh, I think actually there's some other cool cool benefits that you have. So not just from the widescreen aspect of having additional room to work with, you know, and let's say maybe being able to have the document they're working on next to the photo that you're working uh, from as far as typing stuff up and content related to that. But at the same time, I know that I like to listen to music or listen to, you know, podcasts or different types of content. And, um, you know, I'm a huge audio guy. And while I love desktop speakers and I love headphones, um, sometimes it's nice to maybe have a simplified integrated solution. So this actually being an MX series includes our Sonic Master audio implementation. So this actually means that we have a built-in DAC in here as well as line level inputs. So if you let's say you got your smartphone, you got a transformer, you want to go ahead and connect to this, you can go ahead and connect to that and have some great actually audio straight from the monitor. We've got specially tuned three watt speakers that work in combination with that DAC and uh, the entire housing and the design has been tuned to give you a warm sound stage, good tonality, and just some sharp, clear audio. So uh, you get the kind of the best of both worlds. You get really good picture quality, whether it's in video images, plus some cool sound. Yeah, that's great, because I know uh, this will be a great multimedia solution for students, uh, whether they're editing audio, editing video. Um, you've got everything in one package. You don't have to worry about taking all your tools with you. Correct. And on top of that, of course, you've got all the current connectivity you want. You know, um, Just like the previous PA that we talked, we have DisplayPort and HDMI with both carry audio over. So even if you're directly connecting it to your system, with still one signal, uh, one cable is going to go ahead and take care of both things for you. So you were telling me just about the uh, new VG monitors. Tell, can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, so, you know, we talked about the PA series, we talked about the MX series, so, you know, content creation, multimedia, 
uh, and now we're going into hardcore gaming. You know, so for users that have historically been interested in the best performance in terms of fluidity, both in 2D desktop um, as well as an actual in 3D gameplay, you've had to generally buy into our higher end VG monitors that came with 3D Vision. Um, now, 3D Vision is an awesome experience for PC gamers, but what happens if I just want really fast panel performance? I don't want any input lag, but I don't necessarily want to pay for 3D. Um, so that's actually where this monitor comes into play. So the VG uh, here monitor that we're showing off is the world's first 144 hertz and one milliseconds uh, response panel. So you're going to get super high refresh rate, super low response, LED backlit, really high quality TNN panel with good color quality, good viewing ang angles, um, but you're going to get that benefit of that best performance in terms of no lag, no input lag. So for gamers that are interested in just the best overall gameplay experience, as well as really fluid 2D experience, this is going to be the monitor to get. All right, so gamers are really going to be looking forward to this. Uh, what are some other extra features? I know you were telling me there were some Gamer Plus features, I think you were calling them? That's correct. So we actually have um, a new uh, incorporation on the on-screen display that's actually called Game Plus. So there's two options. Um, one of them you can see right here is an on-screen crosshair or a reticle. And that came from feedback from users that have been using 3D Vision. And while this monitor doesn't come included with the emitter or the glasses, you can buy that. Um, some of the users say, hey, everything looks awesome. It's, you know, it's great depth of field. It's immersive. But but I have a hard time seeing the crosshair. So here you can actually select from four different crosshairs. You can put them in different parts of the screen so that can aid in actually having better focus so that you can go ahead and make sure and snipe more effectively, right? Uh, and then on top of that, we've also got an on-screen timer. Now you see it's blinking zero, zero to let us know that the countdown timer is completed, but um, you're gonna actually have five preset timers that you can position at different points in the screen, or you can enter in your own timer value. So it's great for guys that are playing on raids, maybe League of Legends, maybe you need to have a countdown timer to get to a certain point back on a map, um, you know, respawn considerations, all kinds of little things like that. So two really awesome features that we're integrating on our gamer series monitors for those gamers uh, that are looking, you know, for the best of the best in terms of performance, plus some cool features. All right, so I know the next LAN party I'm going to, uh, if I'm getting fragged, I'm going to blame it on uh, my opponent having one of these monitors because he's uh, getting a little bit of an extra edge, I think. Sure, there's that definite possibility, but that just means you're going to have to pick up a VG monitor. Oh, I guess so. Well, this is the new VG series here at CES 2013. If you want to follow the rest of our updates from CES, follow us at campuslife.asus.com. Thanks for your time, JJ. Thank you.